All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bandit. In today's video, we're back playing in Cool and Naughty. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. All that stuff helps me grow the channel. I think I keep forgetting to say that. I don't care too much. Anyways, back to what we have going on. Uh, we have Now we have enough to put in all five units as well, which is the match you can take in at a time. And eventually we should be able to start swapping these two. Out. Well, actually, it says that it's not used in a battle. So I can take it in and not use it, I think. If I'm thinking of that correct, but let's see what death wants now. I'll cut to the chase. Your master is dead. Trust me, I'm kind of an expert on these things. We could bring him back to life, but in order to do so, you must defeat me in a duel. If you do, I will grant your wish of bringing the master back to life. I don't want to be too overzealous and then end up fighting him now and somehow lose or something like that. Also, the middle of his spine is kind of weird. Like, it, it doesn't seem like it's quite connected, right? You must set out on a master journey and defeat at least three Inkulinati masters. Only then will you be skilled enough to face me. I will be waiting for you on my farm. In the meantime, I bid you farewell. Don't worry, there will be a resu a resurrection. I... Resolution or resurrection? Whatever, I don't, I don't care for either of those. So we're just supposed to make our way. I guess we're just training until we can get better. Apocalypse in five turns. It's going to be the sacrifice. Random objects will appear on the battlefield and the ink blobs as well. If we get a kill with our hand ability, we get uh, it grants us four drops of living ink. Uh, action kills it kills a beast. All right, cool. Uh, fighting beast battles. Okay, so this one is just us. So we don't get to spawn in any new enemies, any new units, it looks like. Okay, so boredom doesn't count here since we're not drawing it. All your beasts will have their boredom levels decreased after the battle. So, okay, so that's good. These don't matter and they're actually good. 12 drops of living ink during a beast battle. You will gain some health and other effects. The goal here is to get rid of all of your opponent's beast. Can I push that thing? Nice. Oh, you get a halo when you cross that. That's shitty. I forgot we just lose a quill, but we the boredom goes down every time we die. So that's fine i get oh we can just rematch could we have kept going i guess we could have fled and kept moving past it yeah let's try it again i don't want to lose it let's see if we just have to restart right here if we ever have to restart that probably play up to the spot that we were at let's see what these do uh this type of damage skips the dexterity attack mini game uh attackable deal three damage to beast and in, in this field If I push this forward, does it deal damage as we pass through? Yep. Okay. That's interesting. How much damage does this do? Three? I mean, I can just push him back over it and he's going to take that damage again. And then something else is still going to have to move. Well, if something comes past it now, it's going to die. All right, let me put that back down. I could power up something. Actually, I can power up a few things. Oh, I can power up all three of these. Uh, if anything, actually, then move you forward first. And pray. Ooh, have you pray, right? Hold your turn. Okay, well, that's fine, actually. And then have you do your turn. Boost all three of these dudes. All of them get accuracy up. These That one's just going to hold its turn, but it's praying anyway, so it can't get moved. And then those two are both going to shoot because they can. And you haven't taken your turn, have you? Yeah, I'm going to push. I'm going to push you back. That's fine because I expected that thing to die anyways.
but that's going to deal like two extra damage or something your beast is a heretic did you attack okay yeah that's fine um okay so they're like holy they're like priests it's like hidden a priest why didn't my my uh my bow dog get a turn all right bow dog you got a you got spread shot too you can't reach can you not far enough you could always move forward first and then do it. And that would kill a few of them. I'm gonna have you go first, actually. No, because then the dog won't be able to move. Oh, the dog can move forward and not have to take that much damage, actually. So yeah, you move up here. That's fine. And honestly, push you back. That does. Oh, that lets the. Never mind. That's perfect. I was gonna say that lets the uh, snail get too close, but uh, if they do it that way, that's uh, just fine. If I moved all the way across, the snail is deaf, almost certainly gonna eat me. But that means that the snail can't jump all the way up here and eat that uh, dog before I can take my turn. So I'm gonna take this move first. Can I move? Yeah, I can just click where I'm gonna go, right? I can't get there. So I can go there. Oh, that's shitty. Okay, well, if I take out. You can't do enough damage to anything, can you? Then I'll move you here. So I hit this. It's gonna take out all of those no matter what. And that snail still won't be able to hit us. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah, that's that definitely the better. It doesn't even matter. You should just launch this shit immediately. Oh yeah, that was a great uh charge on that bishop's fault. Or what yeah, I'm gonna call it a bishop, whatever. Uh did the first one was terrible. Immediately lost somebody. But I guess that's just it's a normal game, so I'm not gonna win all of them. And I guess it was just a misfortunate start, along with me making my own bad decisions. But I'm just talking shit now because I'm winning. Honestly. I should have hit the what you call it actually. Mass heal, heal five health to three allies. Okay, five health to three allies. Can't reach it though. And I know if I move forward right there, he's gonna immediately kill this dude. So move up here. And then nap. Oh, I should have stayed on that. Oh, that was stupid. Oh yeah, cool. So my characters finally got that. Because before, I don't think I got any of them. Well, I lost a bunch of characters early. And then at that point, it's more likely to be his versus mine. So now... I can lose the spear if, and save the rest. But if he, if he moves now, he can take out uh, Gustav, the bishop. So I'm going to have you push... And then you're going to die now, but that kept everyone else safe. I kind of need all of these to hit right now, because otherwise he's going to move in and start dealing a bunch of damage. Because now that these can attack adjacent, so I should move first and then attack. And that also keeps Gustav a little bit safer. Since, no, no, it doesn't. But, oops, all right. Um, let's see. I don't think that the dog is definitely going to live another round. So I'm going to give him bonus damage for his next attack, which is likely to be against the snail. If the snail doesn't move forward and take out Gustav, then that would be crazy to me. That's crazy. You didn't start with that move. 
I guess it is supposed to be normal. That's a little bit too logical for just a normal game. I keep messing up and almost pushing it too early, even though I have more than enough time to wait. And you still have two, two try. I think it said Halo Three on that, right? Not sure. But you can now move up to here. Can you hit them? You can. Doesn't matter. I want the snail dead. That's that's issue number one. That thing insta kills everything. But now we for sure got this one. I don't I'm not at all concerned about this rabbit. I'm gonna run right the fuck up to it. Oh, because we keep getting the random uh what you call it. All right, this one went way better, but this first fight took probably what's going to be most of the episode. If everything else. Oh, well, there's some like non combat stuff, actually. I mean, you're not going to kill anything. Everything's going to heal uh, at, the, at the start of the next turn, too. And we still get the red. I, I want to hit the red damage as much as possible. I'm going to do as much damage as, as I can all the time, even though it's going to kill. Overkill is always worth it. You will never beat me. I accept this loss, but not your superiority. Oh, and then you know it's like just a basic one too, because it's not the whole book reading down the side, like when you fight a uh, Inkulian or whatever they're called. Take the prestige, the gold. What beast can we? Ooh, I do like the snail. You can only move two to four spaces. What's the fox? Sword wielding fox, pretty strong and resilient. Uh, and resilient for a fox has a shield that can block high damage and a sword that can not, can only attack adjacent fields. Attacks inflict ink steel, ink steel one steal one drop of living ink from your enemy. So it takes it from the enemy. It should right. Uh, and then it's a dexterity attack. It can cleave in a circle. Uh, an attack steals one living drop from the enemy army and adds it to the, okay so that's an attack the sadistic thief uh can never become a heretic either the beast is harder to hit with dexterity attacks as well that's pretty solid what's this one uh holy paul gives a double hail to a friendly unit so i could charge like with both of those on the team i could charge someone up to do um a bunch of damage at once but can hit up to two. It can do some decent damage on its own. Well, it can do some a like a lot of AOE damage. I think I'm still going to take this Fox though. All right. Pray to reduce boredom or regain some health. We're max health and our boredom isn't too high. And this one just contains gold. I'll ride around the city and give the gold to the poor for some prestige. I don't have that much money. I think it's too early to be trying to use prestige for anything right now. Let's keep working our way through stuff. I want to change the team out. Because I know you have plus three, so you're definitely out. The swordsman is in still. That's fine. I can try out the the fox, the fo the sword wielding fox instead, and that might help out instead of trying to use the uh, swordsman. And we'll see if like the swordsman still decreases. Oh, we have another snail to fight, too. They can only move two spaces at once. But they really started my fox in a shitty spot. Okay, so the fox is fine where it is. If the fox moves up to there, then the snail can move up to there. But the fox would be safe and can attack that. They couldn't just push the fox off. Well, oh uh, yeah, I think I'm going to move the fox there. He's going to take three damage, but he should be fine. And I could push that off immediately, but then I would lose my fox as well. So I want to start with the hit first and wait for wait and see if he moves the... Uh, ooh, that's some good damage right there. And wait and see if he use, moves the snail out the way first. So if he moves that snail, then... Ooh, I can give the snail... If he moves the snail, then I'm fine with killing this uh, cat. But I don't want to just push the cat off because then the snail is going to move up and eat the fox. 
the oh the dogs have better attacks i think because the 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 sword wielding dog could spin in a circle this is gonna do bonus damage to my back to it oh and the archer can't hit me right now so i can get away with this hit too and it's already asleep for its turn so it's not going anywhere you're gonna be a heretic right i want to make oh that gives me this too and we can take out this bunny now so we don't have to deal with it on the next turn Ooh, that might be a problem, actually. You can get to right there and start poking at that bunny. All right, now we can also see what we, yeah. I can push that snail off now. If he doesn't move this, ah, uh, the snail already hasn't taken, oh, fuck. But yeah, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about the bishop just moving out the way. So I should have just pushed it off because now it's going to get eaten either way. Oh, wait. Not unless I... Oh, wait. That's going to die if it does that. Okay, well, it's supposed to deal bonus damage. It doesn't say it's dexterity based, though. Anyways. <laughs> Still looks weird when it attacks, but it's probably gonna. It might die if it starts. There goes the oh Bjorn. I, knew, I almost didn't even get his name. Bjorn died immediately, but he did some decent damage to that uh to the to the cat without us having to take any damage from it either. Now you can still you could either kill the cat, which prevents that from healing again, but then the snail's gonna be able to move up on you. Can you kill the, oh, can you? Almost, there's no point in doing it that way though. I might as well just shoot the cat. Oh, I missed. Oh, wait a second. Wait, a, they just die if they fall? That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Huh. Well, let's just let's kill this thing, I guess. Oh, that's also crazy. Hey man, I think I kind of suck at this game right now. I, it probably is that hand ability getting me early on too, because I didn't have the, I couldn't do anything about it, or couldn't do anything with it. And that snail could just run around back. Oh, they got the. Ah, uh, it's because I'm not staying on top of these. What you call it? Damn, I'm gonna die if I cross that too. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this fight. What did I lose? When the thing got pushed off, that's when it turned. I didn't know it was off any edge. I thought it was just off of the the bottom edge. Can I heal them back up? I could dash over to here just to make sure I get the extra healing. That hurt. Great. I'm glad this thing was dumb enough to do that. That really helps me out a lot. 
I think it's still gonna kill me though, because I'm not gonna be able to heal enough. Oh, I get daily supper. That actually helps out a lot. Um, I'm gonna have to heal myself though. And that thing's gonna be able to hit me. I don't have any ranged attacks to be able to take out the snail either. I just have to hope that the snail gets out um damaged. Get gets outpaced by the fire. That's really what I have to hope for for the snail. All right, I healed again. I need to go up to here to kill this thing. And then I have to come back down and cross over those fires. Unless I break the fire. Oh, I could stand there and break the fire. Okay, maybe I can pull this back. <laughs> I'm kind of shitty right now. I can't be, I was going to be like, oh, maybe I'll do like a chapter or episode. And then this one came through. Uh, let me see what, what happens if I push this off. Nothing. Wow. I might have to make that dash now. Yeah, I can't not make this move. I need the snail to go first so I can push it back into the fire. Heal myself just in case I take a bunch of damage crossing this. Right. Oh, just barely, bro. Just barely. Get the fuck out of here. I fucking hate those snails, bro. I should have took one just so I could eat theirs. I really should have, actually. I didn't even think about that. Just eat their snails and then let it go crazy. Whatever, bro. That was really the only thing left. Trying to make sure I don't hit that snail. Because that, it's an insta-kill. That's why it's like, I got to do something about it. I can't even use the sword things on it. Because the sword gets close to it. It just walks up and gets eaten, bro. Like, it's it, whatever. I, I won. I'm not going to complain. Hiya, I almost forgot. From time to time, you might come across elite wild beast encounters. Be careful with these. The reward is greater, but so is the challenge. Right. I feel like he told me that after it happened. Spend gold to buy various items. Uh, I don't know. I do need, I kind of need some new stuff. Ooh, I could bless a unit just just whenever I want to. And that blocks from ranged attacks. Okay, all right. The bow fox. Pretty fragile for a fox. Has a bow that can attack up to six fields away, except adjacent. Can also hit up to three enemies with an attack called ink steel. But then it's oh, and also inflicts ink steel. Can be heresy. So I can I can kill stuff at range. Uh, I can kill the anointed at range. Ooh, and the sword dog. What about the pitchfork hand, though? Attacks an adjacent field and the one behind it. That's not bad. I guess that's a double hit, so it wouldn't be fine. It'd be fine kind of diving in, I guess. I can buy another life. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to keep going now. <laughs> I saw the life thing immediately did it. Spin gold to permanently increase your starting health. Spin gold to permanently increase your starting living ink. Uh, it's going to still give me the plus two on the living. Yeah, I need to take advantage of that. I'm going to need that living ink either way. Um, I guess I could have got more starting health, but again, it hasn't been an issue, but also I didn't realize it was going to be this big of a gap until we had to use our tiny again. What madness is this? Someone like you would dare to challenge me, Godfrey the Mighty. Okay, so Godfrey's the dude we played in the tutorial. 
Yeah, I don't know this fucker. I've never seen him in my life. What is this I hear? You dare to insult Sir Godfrey? Yeah, yeah, come on. Ah, I forgot. He, he runs dogs, right? And the mule. Healing grief. When a friendly beast dies, Tiny and Cooley will... Ah, oh, okay. And then he has this ability, but he probably has the... Does damage to stuff. Yeah, he does damage to us with his hand. Okay, so that's what these things are, I guess. Do you have a turn? Cool. Oh shit, I should have healed. Fog. Okay, we'll have a retry. <laughs> okay. Actually, we're still pretty close to what the last chapter was. All right, let's retry it. Because we can't just skip it, but we do have one more try to go. Next, rematch. But I want to change my army. Let me just unclick everybody first. Uh, that's... That can stun them. We don't have to worry about heretic stuff. Okay, we'll take you for the stealing of life, stealing of life. You give boost damage. We have three more spots. You're these two are gonna cost more than normal, so I'll take these two, I guess. How much health is this? Eight, eleven, nine. This one has nine, eight. Okay, I guess we'll try this one out. It's kind of mixed up. Two, two long range, a mid range, a double attacker, and a close, a front line. And we'll hope that this works out because uh, is, is this different? No, it's about the same. But we can't start by Hang on a second. Uh, infection. Infected beast and tinies lose three health at the end of the chapter. Any beast or tiny that passes by a stand or stands next to the stands next to glad I read that or stands next to the plague, the plagued friend or foe will be infect affected. Oh, never mind. So once they're sick, they can't stand next to anybody. Otherwise, they'll get that person sick as well. All right, cool back off with you <laughs> I'm gonna push that forward well that's gonna put it into the cloud actually okay you can sleep Give prey, like, I guess, what is it? Buff all of them. Give them halos, that's what it was. I did a whole one damage to bro. Godfrey. All right, so who do we have on our team now? We have Dogwood, which is, this, oh, Dag Dagonet? Uh, Dagnik, Agadis, uh, Harold. All right, can you reach with the hat hit? You can. Can you reach with the hit? You cannot. All right. I spawn another one of these in just to get the ink. And then in the turn okay you're gonna be sleep for this turn i'm gonna push this yeah i'm gonna push this forward actually no i'm gonna take my two hits because i could kill it in this one turn 
I hope these gas clouds go away because I don't know if I'm willingly going to put someone through the gas knowing that I can't be next to them anymore. He doesn't go immediately, right? So I still have a chance to kill that before I can move. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. And then I'll, I'll get extra of that too, since he didn't, I guess, didn't take any abilities. I was going to try and move that spear up right on the other side. See, here's what I can do. Since this rabbit can get all the way up there and I need some space, it's going to infect it, but it's also going to affect this dog, right? Because it's uh, adjacent. Okay. And now I could run it through there if I wanted to, right? If it doesn't die, which it's very likely to do. Um, and then I'll end my turn. I, okay, you don't have to always start me on that, dude. Nice. Crazy. I have to be careful of the slide ability from Godfrey, too. Oh, that guarantees a kill on this in the next turn. Oh, it didn't even, it didn't even matter. All right. Okay, so I'm going to slide dude to the middle and then start spawning stuff. Actually, I'm going to start by never mind. They lost a the halo, but that doesn't matter too much. This is going to kill it no matter what. And now I can still slide my I oh, put them to sleep for the turn. That's shitty. You put all of them to sleep for the turn too. All, everyone in that area. Why does that have such a huge range, bro? That's shitty. That's re that actually pissed me off. <laughs> All right, come on now. I need this thing dead so I can move my guy forward. And I don't want to just move him forward the one. And I also don't want him to stop in the gas either. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can just move anything I want to to this direction. It doesn't have to be specifically my character. That's what I've been doing wrong this whole time. And then heal yourself. And does that? Um, No, it doesn't remove the curse or whatever that is. And then someone's someone up there. He's finna. Oh, I should have summoned a, a sword person. I can't reach him. It says right. That's gonna kill my dude.
All right. All right. All right. Let me let me go ahead and keep playing instead of just fucking with shit. And you can you don't have a heal ability. Do you? you do have mass heal. Okay. That didn't heal who it was supposed to heal. Oh, I love this game. All right, take this thing out of the way. It's going to die next turn anyways, but might as well get the kill for it. That gives us uh, some bonus ink, I believe. Oh, someone pay. Oh, dinner bell, I guess. But this fucking poison is wreaking havoc right now. And you're infected too because you injured your turn adjacent. That's what it was. We still heal every turn, so that's not too bad. Ooh, all right. And he punched that whole area and killed that. Okay, right, that's not bad. That's not bad. We just got a bunch of hits in though. Um. So yeah, I have you dash here. slide oh hang on I'll push push you that way right and then I'll use you to slide you this way I don't think I did that right huh I'll actually summon another one just to get another praise in on the next turn, actually. And someone I can move to the right. Um. Yeah, just rest, I guess. I was going to make me dash to get there, though. I think that's fine because then he can't spawn anything right there. I don't think I don't think he'll be able to reach that spot either way. I wonder if they can be hit with the um, heretic thing, too. He can't just push that one into the fire, which is the likely first move, honestly. Didn't even think about that at first. I didn't even think about that one either. Okay, we, yeah, we definitely can't push this. I don't know why I keep trying, though. I kind of have to deal with this poison. Really, thinking about it, I should have dealt with it earlier. Uh, if I was going to have to this much at this point. That will push it behind me and blow it up if I did that. And this would force him to have to push something, right? So actually, I actually move that forward. And spawn another one here. And then sleep. The thing is, he's going to push that one clean out immediately. So I shouldn't have spawned that just yet. I feel like. Burn. They're really getting squeezed together, but no one can 
what you call it. Like he can slide that. Okay. And he just hit me. And I can't just move his pieces. I can only move them if they're within two spaces. Oh, I can do that. Right. And then rest. And then I should be able to push with that on my turn and kill him. Right? Yes, sir. All right, there we go. That took way too long. I'm definitely going to cut off that first attempt. Just know, just know I failed the first time. This wasn't the first attempt. Uh, Because, no, nah, whatever. We'll figure out how we cut it down. Probably going to cut it now that I've said it, but whatever. Okay, that's chapter. I guess it's not chapter two because each thing in the book. I guess book two. Who knows? Maybe it'll tell us how it does. Yeah, we spawned the fuck out of these two in that fight. More prestige, more money, a new beast. I'm taking the slug, hand action. Where do you have one of these, right? Wake up three friendly beasts from their nap and give them an additional turn in the current chat. That's powerful. I'm taking that. I don't even care. Uh, beasts with a cost of six or less are one drop of living ink cheaper. Moving enemies with a hand will inflict bleeding and hand actions used on friendly beast increase their halo level by one that's because i have a healing ability so that's going to be helpful even better so it's going to heal them and bless them i'm quite confident you are cheating that's that's not very fair is it and you think it's closer to bring your master back to life it wouldn't put my faith in death okay um it's kind of interesting that he lost and then started to think like oh no nah, you cheated bro you couldn't have won for sure uh, like one like that. Oh, okay, you get two options. Elite tiny versus wild beast encounter or a beast battle. Ah, oh, shit. This is for like the start, though. I guess I'll take the elite battle. We'll see. I'm going to lose. I don't know why I took the elite battle. So we're going to take the snail because that's the only one that's all good. You two are one. You're two and you're good. And... Let's take the spear as well. I want to end the episode, but I don't know if it saves between the things. Like, it, I don't see any indication that it's saving. So, I'm going to go until after this, I guess. What's this? Uh, push immunity, attackable. Friendly beast and tinies can pass, into in pass it. Enemies have to destroy it first. Okay. Oh, we already had a snail out somewhere. Where's the other snail? Oh, it's up there. Uh, and I'll put one of these here. Sleep. If I eat it, does it still blow up? Oop. All right, I hit my mic too many times now. Devour? Yeah, it shouldn't blow up, right? Because it's just gone. Oh, it blew up in front of me. Okay, cool. As long as it doesn't affect me, I don't care. Otherwise, it'd be pointless to have that ability against these. Oh, I don't have enough ink for anything, huh? Oh, I did start off by pulling out what is essentially supposed to be more of a game ender type. Um, I'm kind of gonna have to hold his turn at least. They're gonna have to break that before they can get by. What does that do? That wakes people up. You're gonna sleep also, honestly. Oh, 
that's pretty interesting. So it's gonna sit. That makes sense. So it wakes up adjacent targets. It looks like. Well, I, I won't be able to read it now. Interesting. I wonder if this eating eating doesn't heal them, does it? A blessing cloud. Ooh, that's good. That's good. All right, we're going to start with your turn again. Devour kind of crazy that you brought it here and it doesn't deal damage to me, right? It didn't. And we're on an ink block. So we're going to get some extra stuff at the end of the turn too. That does damage to everything in front of it. Also good to know. All right. Now you, you can spawn some stuff in now. Spawn one there so you can shoot down onto them. And right now we can't be hit by the, uh, the tall hat one. Otherwise, let's put one of those there. I can't move. What what happens? Let's just see it because, okay, it gets bounced back. Oh, it hurts me, huh? Oh, well. And uh, I guess we'll heal. Heal you. That gives you a blessing of, t that doesn't help you much though. But you need the healing either. anyways. And rest. Dealing a bunch of damage to his own teammate. And that lets me move forward. I'm still going to be on an ink block. And eat this thing. Oh, well, I'm still going to be on an ink block. Ooh, ooh, whoa. That was crazy. What an ender. I like that. That was worth it. It was all worth it. That was a crazy ender. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because the first explosion didn't damage me and hit those other two. And they had been the first one had damaged the tall hat one so much that it didn't even matter. Sadly, this one still went up, even though it didn't get used. And two of those got used automatic. Well, not automatically because I summoned one, but the rest did go down. All right, let's see what beast we can get now. Damn, the the mule was so good, but I need some lower level spawns right now. So as much as I want it. It would kind of be a pivot to the team. Like, it'd be a good add, but I can only take in five at a time. And I kind of have either I'm taking in a gang of foxes to do the job or I'm, I don't know, man. I, I think I have enough, like, high levels. I need to get some low level ones in here. Uh, attacks up to, th ooh, uh, something that base does three. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, what's that call? This is the game saved. I'm not sure. Okay, we're we'll saving quit. But that's going to be it. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully y'all enjoying it. Uh, Try and get these out as fast as I can. I got like, I'm busy. So, you know, leave me alone. But thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Continue journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for